Hey everybody. Hi. We are doing our testimony video out here. It's late. It's late. It's almost nine o'clock. Yeah. There's our team over there. We're packing up. There's a street fair over there today. Uh, really packed. We carried the cross through that. Up and down the pier. Yeah, up and down the pier. We had really good encounters yeah. on the pier today. It's going to be loud, so I'm going to bring it close because yeah. we're right near the one, which is uh, the highway. As you, can, as you can see, cars moving all day. Great day. Yeah. The board really moved. Uh, yeah. Do you have any There's testimonies you want to share? One guy, especially on the pier, his name was Miguel, and uh, we were talking to him, and he kind of basically said, I'm too busy for God. And I said, if you could invest five pennies into something every day and in the end to know that you're going to get a billion dollar return, would you do it? And he's like, of course. He said, you need to invest in God, you know, yeah. invest five minutes a day because his return is more than, you know, all the money in all the world. It's an eternal return. Um, you shared a lot of good things with him. But at the end, I shared the acronym busy is being under Satan's yoke. That's what I left him with. If you're too busy, you're, you're under Satan's, Satan's yoke. yoke. And he said, oh, I like that one. Yeah. So I gave him a gospel of John and he said he would read it. So it was a, a good time. Yeah, we uh, had some other encounters with some young people, some 19 year olds that um, were kind of lost, but they were open and we prayed for them. Mm -hmm. The ones all the way at the end. Um, I don't even remember. They were lying down. Oh, you were in the bathroom. Oh, no, no, I was oh, there. Oh, you were there I for part there of it, yeah. yeah. And uh, we prayed for them. It was really powerful. And then we had a lot of encounters as well um, with other oh, young people. Oh, there's four teenagers four on teenagers the other side. That's right. That we prayed with testimony. and they prayed with us. Yeah, they, you I totally know, kind of made those. a choice to go all, all in. This has to go oh, a little bit more sorry, to the right. Sorry. So, um, yeah, you know, it's just a busy, packed day. Mm -hmm. We have to head back because it was a lot of carrying the cross and a yeah. lot of, um, you know, I wanted to say that I did see a lot of people. Just this way a little bit. Thank I you. saw a lot of people um, looking. There would be a lot of people looking at David, taking self, uh, photos, selfies. Or, I wish I could get it in the camera, but as soon as they would go in to be on camera, they'd like pretend that they weren't doing right it. And then they'd it. go right back to doing it once oh, I wow. kind of passed by. Yeah. So, so many people are, you know, impacted by the cross going up and down and capturing it. And then there's this one guy who was on a mic, he was playing the guitar, and he kind of was getting into it he with was you back and, me back while and I was forth. Walking. So while he's walking on the mic, he's saying so this other guy saying so but as we walk back he's talking to somebody and I'm hearing him talk to this guy and this guy's talking about Moses and then I hear the guy on the mic go there he is and then they're still talking so you know it incited or instigated a religious conversation between him and this other guy somehow this yeah. other guy was talking to him so I don't know yeah. and then at another point I heard someone say there he is so yeah. you know people definitely are impacted by, the by the cross we got and the are cross impacted right yeah by it being seen and just being carried and yeah. you preaching the gospel even if we're not having one-on-one -on -one conversations with them there's like a wave that happens in the spiritual realm uh, a ripple effect you know if you go on still water with a boat it creates a wake that's kind of what it's like we create this wake through the crowds and there's all this ripple effect behind us amen amen we had just so many encounters on the pier it's we've kind of been going 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 so it's hard right now for me to remember yeah everything we've walked probably miles I'm yeah be surprised if we walk like eight to nine miles by you know the end of the time yeah. and um, it's just it's really blessed you know as you can see out here I'm gonna do a little panoramic you know it's just packed and we gave out gospel of John's we gave out tracks we yeah. gave out um, these little brown books that we have and God really is moving yeah like I'll even show you right there they just got a track right there and so God is good all the time. Amen. God is faithful all the Amen. time. And we're just grateful to be able to lift up the cross Amen. and to proclaim the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So thank you guys for praying for us. I can't think, are there any other things we should share? I just share? talked to some teenagers today, some four girls who were teenagers. Yeah. That was a bless. You know, kind of, they all were raised Christian, it sounded oh, like. Oh, we talked to the, uh, the street performer. Project, I had no idea. So yeah, there's, there's this the street, street performer. performer. And uh, I felt like I should get off the camera and start talking to people. So but she didn't know it was him. I start talking to this guy and we get in this conversation and the guy like seems like he's seeking God but is totally deceived and confused. In he certain thinks areas. It's, yeah. yeah, he thinks it's a flat earth. Um, he thinks that like to be baptized or to be born, you know, I read in John 3, being born of water in the spirit. And he's like, yeah, but you gotta be born of the water. And the water is like Bruce Lee said, that you gotta be fluid through life. And it, it's just a crazy conversation. So at some point I was like, I can't, I can't handle this guy. So I called Andrew over and you came over. Um, but then later on I found out he's the street performer who has been here these last couple days. Yeah, and, uh, drawing just, crowds yeah. and stuff like that. 
But uh, he actually read. After pause. He, everybody. Everybody. Every gas. Everybody gasses the light here. Um, almost every single light. But he uh, went and re he read the Bible and he came back and he was like telling Andrew like I'm yeah. sincere. I'm trying to read the Bible and so it was good. So he had questions yeah, and he came back. With, yeah. So Andrew was the right one to deal with him. I yeah. was not. But I would. I had no idea it was this guy. I wouldn't have yeah. probably pulled him over and tried to talk to him had I known. So, so it's been a really blessed time. Yeah. Uh, we still got lots of time. Oh, one of the surfers was talking to me from the water That's while right. I was uh, preaching. preaching. He was like, I don't want, you know, he's just like, I don't want God. I don't want that. And I was like, you need it. Yeah. You need to catch a wave of God's loving grace yeah. or you'll wipe out. He's like, I'm not, I don't wipe out. And I was like, he will. Yeah. So even, you know, people on the water surfing are hearing this is probably far more impactful well, than then we, we really, even know. Yeah. And the cross lit up, you know, going through. I'm going to see if this, but... Oops, no, that's the wrong one. It's just like so busy. We just walked through all of that right now. Like four times. Yeah. So more, I can't remember. And God is good. Thank you guys for praying for us and the team. Andrew, Sharon. People are still talking. People are still talking. Slavic over there. So to God be the glory. Amen. Bye. Bye.